Hi there, and welcome to this video on the differences between descriptive and critical writing from the academic skills team at UWS. My name is Linda Riches, and I'm one of the academic skills advisors at the university. So we're going to have a look at the different styles of writing, so descriptive and critical writing, what they are, when they should be used, and also we'll talk about a couple of examples just to demonstrate the differences. Before we start, I'll mention that there are headings at the left hand side of the slides so that you can easily access a particular section of the session if you need to. As I'm sure you'll know, there are different academic styles of writing. So, for example, you might be asked to write a descriptive piece of writing or you might be asked to critically analyse or evaluate. So it's important to understand the differences between these styles of writing. Often students tend to be too descriptive and they'll tell a story about their reading rather than making connections between articles to discuss what they found. So I'm not saying to not use descriptive writing, but just be careful how you use it and when you use it. These are some examples of when it's appropriate to use descriptive writing in your work. So, for example, if you're introducing a topic to the reader or you're providing some background, some context information in an essay or a report or a case study, then it would be appropriate to use some descriptive writing there. If you're describing an event, a process or a situation or summarising some information, then descriptive writing could be used. Or you're just presenting facts and providing basic information such as biographical details or a simple description. So those are the circumstances in which descriptive writing would be suitable. With critical writing, it's more about really thinking about your reading and making connections, links, and forming arguments about what you've read. You'll find it easier to write critically if you do your reading first and make some notes about the main arguments from authors. You can then compare those with other authors and build up a picture of what the reading is telling you about a topic. And these are some examples of how you could bring critical writing into your work. So if you're organising and evaluating the evidence that you've got, you would use critical writing to do that. You would compare and, and weigh up alternative viewpoints, put those into your writing. You might be analysing the outcome of research and experiments and thinking about why they were particularly relevant or important. You might want to make links or make connections between different approaches, different topics. Or you might want to try and form some arguments. So thinking about the limitations in certain arguments, thinking about the strengths, the weaknesses, and maybe drawing together some conclusions. And when you're writing critically, you want to maybe make some judgments on what you've read using evidence and using evidence to bring together a well-supported conclusion. You could also write critically when you're interpreting quotes and explaining why they're relevant or discussing their validity. I also wanted to show you a couple of examples just to show you the difference between descriptive writing and critical writing. So this is an example of descriptive writing. The question actually asks you to critically analyse the value of sports in modern society. But what the person has done in this example is they've just given a description of sports. So they've described sports. They've said what a spork is, that it's a type of cutlery with a fork at one end and a spoon at the other. They've told us what they're made of. And they've told us that they come in different colours and they've told us how they're used and they've used references, but they haven't critically analysed. They've merely described what a spork is. In this example, what the writer has done is critically analysed sporks. So they've told us briefly what a spork is, but they've quickly gone on to talk about a couple of the articles and the main argument they're putting across about the environmental benefits of sporks. Additionally, the writer has also brought in another author who talks about the limited lifespan of sporks having a negative effect on the environment. So they've looked at a different point of view. And when you look at the question, critically analyse the value of sporks in modern society, they have answered that question by bringing in those different angles, those different themes. 
So to summarise, with descriptive writing, that's the most forward, straightforward type of academic writing. It only really gives facts to the reader and summarises several articles or gives an overview of current research. Importantly, descriptive writing doesn't develop an argument. With critical writing, it's more complex, so you're talking about discussion, analysis, evaluation of your reading, and it gets you involved in academic discussion, academic debate. So you'll be evaluating arguments and evidence, maybe talking also about limitations and being more open minded and objective to discussing different um, points of view, different alternatives. So when you're writing critically, you want to appraise the quality of evidence and arguments, identify the main aspects, positive and negative, and decide how relevant or useful they will be in your debate. And you want to try and weave those arguments into your work. Also wanted to mention that you can get further support with your academic writing including 30 minute one to one appointments or small group appointments and the careers and skills website also has plenty of online resources for you to read watch and listen to and you may also find our resources on academic writing critical thinking and critical writing useful when you're thinking about these different styles of writing also do have a listen to our podcast a wee blether about where academic skills advisors discuss a range of academic skills topics I hope you found this helpful and thanks for listening.